Hello everyone, in today's tutorial we will create this footstep sound effect, so if you walk it will play a footstep sound and if you sprint it will play the footstep sound but faster and this will only work for first person, so we don't use any animations or something like that, so this will sadly not work in a third person template. And this is the part 1 of the tutorial, so in next part we will create that if you walk on for example wood, a wood footstep sound will uh, play, and if you walk on for example metal, a metal sound effect will play. So that will be in the next part, so uh, let's start. So what we will do first is to create a new folder, so right click, new folder, and they call it footsteps. Now go to the folder. And then you want to create your folders for your different uh, footstep materials. So, if you for example walk on wood, you want to make a folder for your wood footstep sounds. And if you walk on metal, you want to do for the metal as well. So if you have about 5 different materials that you walk on, you want to create 5 new folders uh, with the material called on it. Then, go into your folder and import your footsteps. So, as you can see right now, I'm in the wood footsteps. So I will import my wood footsteps sounds. So import all of your sound effects for all the different folders. And once you've done that, you have to go into the folder. So pick whatever folder you want. So I will go into the wood footsteps. And then you want to highlight everything. Right click. Create single queue. And call it wood Oh, wood footsteps. Then go into it. And as you can see now, they are all plugged in to a random node, so it will not play a repetitive sound, so it will pick a random uh, sound to play when, when you walk. So you will not hear the sound uh, twice. So as you can see now, if you double click on the output, you can hear the different uh, uh, sounds playing and yeah it sounds very nice so once you've done that you can click on the save and do that for all of your different sound effects now once you created a queue for all of your footsteps sound effects you want to go to the first person folder blueprints BP first person character and then go to the event graph. So once you're in the event graph, we want to create a new function called trace footsteps. So what this is, it will trace the footsteps so it knows when to play the uh, footstep sound. So over the trace footsteps, we want to create a sphere trace by channel. And the start will be the get actor location. And the actor is uh, the character as we play as. Now, out of the return value of the get actor location, we want to break vector free f. And out of the set, we want to get a subtract. Just like that. And then we want to drag out our capital component. So drag that out. And then we want to get scaled capsule radius and we want to also get scaled capsule half height and now the return value will go into the subtract and the get scaled capsule radius will of course go into the radius of the sphere trace now we want to right click on the end on the sphere trace per channel and we want to split struct pin so we can see all of the different uh, values. So drag the Z, the subtract into the end Z right there. And then the Y to the Y and the X to the X. Just like that. Now our the sphere trace by channel, we want to get a return a return node and would add a output called finished and the return value go, will go into the finished of the return node so just like that now compile a save and create a new function called footstep 
try so this will try the footsteps so it will see if we can play the footsteps so out of here we want to get a trace footsteps and this is the function we just made earlier and out of here we want to get a branch and the finished will go into the condition of the branch and then out of the true we want to play sound at location and now the sound you can play whatever sound you want but i will choose the wood sound uh, wood footsteps that uh, i made earlier so why we are doing the wood footsteps well that's because in the next video we will create the we will work on different materials uh, different uh, sounds will play so why we are choosing the wood footsteps well we are going to change the this sound in the next video so this is just a preview so we know that it works so you can just choose whichever footstep sound you want so now out of the location we want to get actor location just like that now compile and save and go into the event graph and what we're doing here we want to create a new timeline so find a empty spot in your uh, event graph and right click search for add timeline and call it foot steps slash tl for timeline go into it add new track add event track and call it foot steps alpha then the length we can set to one so it will check every one second if we're hitting the ground so it will play a footstep sound every one second but if you like uh, walk fast you would set this value to about 0.5 so the sound plays every 0.5 seconds when you walk but i walk kind of slow so i think that one will fit for me so once you set your length you want to hold down left shift and left click to add a key and the time will be set to one so it is at the end of the timeline and the value will be set to zero now compile and save go to the event graph and out of the footsteps alpha we want to get the foot step try and this is the function we made right here so compile and save so now we have done all of the basic coding for the footsteps but it doesn't know when to play the footsteps sound so let's fix that right now so what you can do is to go to your movement code so mine is right here and i guess that your movement code looks a lot different so what you can do next is that you want to create this movement code and i guess that if you're under the five you don't have this uh, kind of movement uh, coding for it uh, so just delete your current movement code and create this so how to create this movement code well go to the edit project settings then scroll down until you see input and then you want to create two new axis mappings one called move forward and the keys will be set to w and s and the w scale will be set to one and the s will be set to minus one then create a new axis mapping call it move right and then you want to add these two keys so a and d and the scale on the a key will be minus one and on the d it will be one so copy this once you've done that we can just close our project settings and then go to the event graph again and then you want to call the move forward so move forward this one right here and then after the move forward you want to add movement input and the axis value will go to the scale value and out of the world direction you want to get actor forward vector then you want to get the input axis move right add movement input and the axis value will go to the scale value and the world direction will get actor right vector so now when you got this basic code for the movement we can uh, follow on with our footsteps so after the add movement input right here for the move forward you want to get a branch so drag over here and get a branch 
and then you have to get velocity so get velocity and the return value will be the vector length and then our the return value right here we want to get the greater and this will go to the condition of the branch so if the branch is true that we are moving we want to play the uh, timeline so we want to play the footsteps sound effects so we want to get a reference to this timeline we made right here so search for footsteps tl so get footsteps tl and this is a reference to the, this timeline so drag out of here to get the play and it's true we'll go to the play and then drag out the footsteps timeline again and get the stop and the falls will go into the stop just like that and now out of the add move to put right here for the move right we'll drag that in to the branch as well so bam now we have this code right here so now we can compile and save and test it out so now if we walk oh this does not sound good oh yeah that's because <laughs> i'm sorry i forgot to do something go into the event graph again then go to the timeline and take this loop right here just like that so it will loop the timeline now go to the first person and play again and now when we walk you see that it plays and if we stop it will not play but if we walk it will play now this uh, the footsteps plays a little bit too slow so i will change the length of the timeline to about let's say 0.8 0.8 and then change the key time to 0.8 as well so it is at the end of the timeline now compile and save and test that out and now it sounds much better so now we are done with the footsteps but as you can see when we play and now if we sprint you can see that the footsteps doesn't get any faster and if you don't have a sprinting in your game, you don't need to do this, but if you have a sprinting mechanic in your game, you want to do this step as well. So, go into the event graph again, and go to your uh, sprinting code. So, once you're here, you want to get a reference to the timeline, so footstep timeline, get footstep timeline, and then out of here, you want to set the play rate, and we will duplicate this the target will be there and the release will go in here and the press will go in here and then the set play rate will go right in there and this will go right in there so if we sprint so we press the left shift key we want the footsteps to play faster so the new rate can be set to 1.5 let's say that and the new rate will be set to 1, so it is the default. So now compile and save and test, th test that out. So now if we walk, it will play slow. If we sprint, it will play it faster. And if we walk, it will play a, the same. Uh, it will play slow again. So yeah. That is a very simple footstep system and in the next tutorial we, we will create that if you walk on for example dirt a dirt footstep sound effect will play and if you walk on for example metal a metal footstep sound will play. So yeah that's the tutorial I hope you liked it and stay tuned for the next part so yeah.